Hello and welcome to topic number one, bond pricing. So we're going to have a look at what bonds are, the primary and secondary markets for bonds, and the main characteristics of a bond. So what is a bond? Basically you can think of a bond as being sort of like an IOU. More formally, it's what we would call a debt instrument. So when you purchase a bond, you are effectively giving out a loan to the seller. Sellers of bonds use it as a way of raising money. You purchase a contract from them that says that they are going to pay you back in the future with interest. So it's pretty much just a loan. But it's a little different from loans the way we might think of them from say a bank. So the way bonds work is the following. The initial seller sells bonds to people in what we call the primary market. What differentiates bonds from loans from say a bank is that after this initial sort of sale in which the loan is initially made, the bond can actually then be resold by from one investor to another and then to another and to another and so on and so forth and so it can just sort of cycle around in what we call the secondary market. Now the importance of the presence of the secondary market cannot be understated because having a secondary market means that there is a much greater demand for these bonds because in truth these are long term debts. When you purchase a bond it's not actually going to mature for 10 to 30 years and by mature I mean you're not going to get back the uh, face value of the bond which is well pretty much the bulk of um, the debt. So people don't really want to have their money locked away for a substantially long period of time so having a secondary market available means that instead of having to lock away your money by giving it to this seller and then not being able to receive it back until they pay you the face value you can actually just take the bond and sell it off to another investor who's interested in making some return and in that way you can immediately get back your money whenever you want it. So this gives people an incentive to actually buy bonds because the initial incentive is to make a bit of return because you basically get paid interest on this loan that you're giving out but what's also wanted is that liquidity, that ability to sort of cash in. So having this liquidity which allows for there to be actual demand for bonds means that money can be raised by bond sellers in a bit of an untraditional way. So whereas normally if you wanted money you would go to a very large seller with a lot of money and just take out one big massive loan from them. The option that is opened up by bonds is that if you need a large sum of money you just go to many many small investors and take out lots and lots and lots of small loans from them. And so you do this by just selling a massive number of bonds. Like so. So that is the rationale behind bonds. So what are their main characteristics? I've talked about vaguely sort of what a bond is but we don't really understand just yet. If I purchase a bond then what exactly am I getting? Well it depends on certain things. For one thing there is the price 
quite obviously the amount that you will pay for the bond in the beginning, the amount that you're loaning out. Then there is what we call the face value. Now this amount is what you are going to be paid on maturity of the bond at the very end after 10 to 30 years. This is the amount you will get as a lump sum. However, you are not just going to get this one payment. Up until the face value is paid, you are going to effectively receive interest, or as we call it, coupons. So, the next important characteristic is the coupon rate, which when multiplied by the face value, gives you the payments that you are going to receive periodically. And the reason they're called coupons is that back in the old day, a long time ago, when we didn't really have sort of, you know, all the electronic trading and when it wasn't all done on computers, in order to actually receive this coupon interest, as we call it, you actually had to take a physical coupon and go and hand it in in exchange for your payment. So that's where the name comes from. Now, another thing here is the frequency of coupon payments. So, how often you receive your coupon payments could be once a year, or it could be once every six months, or it could be once every three months. Typically, in Australia, for um, Australian government bonds, it is once every six months. And then finally, you've got your maturity. So how long does the bond last? How long will it be before you receive the face value and how long will you be taking these payments? So it could be, as I've said, anywhere between 10 and 30 years. So once you've got all of these things here, you can completely sum up all of the cash flows that are going to be received on this bond. Cut study time with concise video summaries by top students. Visit SpoonFeedMe.com to view more free videos in this course and hundreds of others.